Today we're going to amputate some uh, limbs and we're going to talk about the channel here. Let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. So, uh, we are going to convert uh, house Cawdor miniatures for Necromunda into fantasy miniatures. So we're going to cut their hands off, we're going to put swords and axes and fantasy weapons in their hands. Um, yeah, they look like fantasy characters already. I don't understand why Games Workshop doesn't just put a sprue in the box. Instead of guns, give them swords. Because they look like awesome fantasy characters. They have candles burning on them. And the paint scheme we kind of want to go with, like, uh, my, I, my thought in my head was, like, Robin Hood's Merry Men, but, like, uh, angry unmerry men not not so merry men as to the channel um, I'm feeling a little burned out lately and by that I mean uh, pretty burned out on Star Wars stuff and Marvel Crisis Protocol stuff at the moment I don't feel excited to paint any of it now I obviously will get excited again but right now I'm just not feeling that way and i don't usually paint a lot of games workshop stuff on the channel i mostly stick to marvel and uh star wars but lately i've been wanting to paint uh fantasy stuff and i i don't really paint 40k stuff ever but i've really wanted to be painting some fantasy stuff so i think for the next little bit i'm just gonna paint whatever i feel like doing so if you're here strictly for the Star Wars and the Marvel stuff, I'm going to step back from it a little bit, at least for now. Um, it's just not, it's not exciting. And if it's not exciting, that's going to come through the videos and I wouldn't want to watch it. Either way, let's get into today's video here. And we have our sprue here of the Cotor gang and we're just going to clip out, you know, follow the instructions, obviously, to put the main bodies together. Um, we're going to clip out some hands and arms and all that and uh here is a fantasy uh sword that i i guess i decided to use here and i'm just going to clip it off at the wrist and i'm going to clip this gun off at the wrist and i'm going to fit that in there and glue it on so that's the arm and then uh figure out a good spot for him to be holding that uh blade and bam we're just converting them into fantasy I have a ton of extra bits like sword hands from a couple of Warcry sets and uh, axes and stuff like that. So this is just a no brainer with how these miniatures look. And here they are, I gave them a spray of black and then a Zenithal of white from above. I did their bases already as well. And uh, gonna switch to some bony matter here. Now this is gonna go on all the wrappings that they have. So any places where it's just like cloths that are wrapped around them, this is the color for that. And we're gonna move over to some ruddy fur here, and this is gonna go all over the uh, top part of their outfit. I guess it's motley. I guess it's a motley outfit. I didn't want to paint them like that. I kind of wanted to paint them in like a weird fantasy camouflage scheme, like Robin Hood's Unmerry Men. This is also going to go on their boots. I don't know if it's just me, but candles seem like an odd, an odd fashion choice. <laughs> like, your, your mother can't even walk through the kitchen with the birthday cake candles without what, some of them going out and she's walking, <laughs> trying to hide them from the wind of her moving. And these guys are wearing them. Anyway, I'm going to take some desolate brown here. And this is sort of a greenish brown. And this is going all over their uh, skirt. I guess it's, I don't know what they're wearing. It's a skirt. And 
and we're gonna take some camo cloak here this is gonna go all over their undershirt so under that where we put that ready fur this is going on there Now we're going to take some peachy flesh and this is obviously going yeah on all the flesh so their ears the their mouths hands some of them have bald spots on the top of their head or their heads are bald period and uh yeah it's just going everywhere that we can see that flesh how do you light a candle on your shoulder easily it's not easy. You gotta get somebody else to do it for you. Or you have one of those lighting sticks. I think like a, a, a barbecue lighter. <laughs> anyway, I'm fascinated by the fashion choice of lit candles. We're gonna take some velvet red and some express medium here. And this is gonna go all over their masks. So I really wanted like a weird um, something to pop and I felt red looked really good with this color scheme. It obviously blows the camouflage, but who cares? This is going all over their loincloth as well. We're gonna take some Nasdrag yell here, and this is gonna go all over the ropes that they have around them, so they're wearing almost like nooses around their neck. They're a bunch of weirdos. Now we're going to take some snake bite leather, and I know it says leather, but we're going to put this all over the wood that they have. It makes it look like a weird sort of greasy uh, brown wood. I, I really like this for wood. Now we're going to take some broadsword silver, and this is going all over the metal bits. So their weapons, spear tips, uh, all this stuff. Anything we want, silver basically. And some of them have some armor panels here and there. Now we're going to take some ochre clay here. And this is going all over the candles that they have. So this is a yellowish sort of brown. But it has a little green in it still. It's weird. Like you're in a heated battle and you're like, whoa, 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 my candle's out. Just give me a minute here. We're gonna take some brownish decay satchel brown dusk red so these are just gonna be for hair colors so like I, you can just vary these however you want um, just some colors that we can use for hair we're take some occultist cloak and this is gonna go all over the straps that they have holding on their masks And we're going to take some hop light gold here and this is just going to go on any of the uh hilts that we didn't paint silver so it, this is optional you don't have to use the gold if you want it could all be silver or bronze or anything and we're going to take some yellow and we are going to do the uh flames of the candles and with that these guys are done and here they all are finished up this was a really fun project i've had this box sitting on my shelf for oh a year probably a year but i had no interest in playing necromunda and i really just liked the miniatures and i figured if i could use them for frostgrave or silver bayonet or something else and just switch out their weapons uh, i would be happy with that I'm, i am happy with these they're really cool it's an easy paint job and they're fun miniatures have you guys done any conversions of converting something from like sci-fi to fantasy or fantasy to sci-fi? I know that there's people out there that say everything's a Necromunda model, <laughs> which is, it's not true, but I have seen some amazing ones. What have you guys converted? Let me know in the comments below. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all of the YouTube stuff. You guys have a great day. Like, these guys talk like soccer hooligans, right? Like, just looking at them, they look like they talk like soccer hooligans. 
Do I have to describe a soccer hooligan? Oi! Watch your damn it, Rog! Like that sort of thing? <laughs> oh my god. Oi, Rog, you go into the game tonight? Nah, I can't. I can't get my candles lit. It's terrible. <laughs>